since the dawn of time. Man and woman has been plagued by war, disease, famine. But worse than all of these is the existential question of what does it mean to be a grown-up? Period. The place like a cave somewhere. <laughs> Me own cave wife. Hunt good cave husband? Hunt good cave wife, but cave husband my feelings bad. Uh, cave husband wonder more to life than hunt, gather, fire. Cave neighbor than cave me. What, what cave husband do? Who cave husband? Cave wife do have feelings bad. Cave friends see cave wife drop cave picture on cave wall, but cave friends say waste of time. But, but cave drawing is cave wife calling. Uh, maybe me cave mother right. No one remember cave picture in a thousand years. I'll be the waste of time. Century England, you know, real Shakespeare shit. Hildegard, I must speak with you in confidence. Mm, when afraid thou art not thinking of becoming a doctor, art thou? Oh, nay, nay, absolutely nay. <laughs> Tis going to sound insane. Hast thou ever thought about not getting married? <laughs> but of course, I know we are 14, but I'm still living my life. Call me a spinster, but I have these awful thoughts of how marriage is so like forever. I agree. I want to be the author of my own journey. That is, once I learn how to read it and write it. <laughs> I just keep thinking, first tis marriage, then tis children, then tis death, or tis children and death simultaneously. <laughs> Are we doing this right? Time. Now, the place, the Schomburg Ikea. <laughs> Babe, I'm really digging this love vacuum. You mean that side table? Is everything here in Swedish? Are the instructions in Swedish too? If they are, I'm sure we can figure it out. It'll be a fun little project to do at our new place together. Wait, did you invite me here just to get me to move in with you? You know, I told you I need to get my shit together first, babe. Listen. My plan was to be married by 30, kids by 32, and have be retired by 60. But at this rate, I'm going to get my ARP card by the time our kids start school. Kids? How are we supposed to think about kids? I mean, I don't even have a real job. I work the self-checkout at Target. Nobody needs me there. <laughs> I was gone yesterday for a whole hour, and nobody even noticed. <laughs> a whole hour! Um, excuse me, sir? Yes. Yeah, hi, would you mind crying outside? <laughs> Oh, 
could, ma'am? Resident. 
and Chantus, Marla Monroe. psychotic breakdown, some might say, but I'm back. I'm happy to be here. Let's get to know each other a little bit, shall we? Hi, Hansel. What's your name? TJ. <clears throat> TJ. You know, TJ is my husband's name. <laughs> Was my husband's name. <laughs> what small world. <laughs> you know, uh, that was a funny thing, really. Thought I was not ready to talk about this tonight. <laughs> thing is, folks, divorce is very, very real. <laughs> God, I loved him so much, it made me sick. <laughs> you give me fever, teacher, when you kiss me. Fever when you're holding me tight. going, shall we? Yeah? yeah. Let's hear some applause for Marilyn. Hi, sweetie. With the infinity scarf. What's your name? Sandra. Sandra. Okay. That's that's a really nice name, Sandra. <laughs> what do you do for a lovely sweetheart? Uh, I'm getting a PhD. A PhD? <laughs> You're in school. That's lovely. Congratulations. <laughs> you know, TJ, <laughs> actually left me for someone who was getting their PhD, <laughs> Miss Smarty Pants. <laughs> funny, funny thing. Love is a funny thing, really. Sometimes it's here and then it's gone. In a flash, in the trash, where you put it, TJ? <laughs> I'm looking at you. Whew. Anyways, let's just break it down a little bit. Smile. Oh, your heart is aching. <laughs> Smile. Even though it's breaking When there are clouds in the sky You'll get by But will I? Will I? I'm asking Not enough time <laughs> Anyways, let's, let's get back into the rhythm, shall we? Any couples in the audience? Couples, couples, let me see some hands Don't be shy now Oh, we're here Hello, hello Ma'am and sir, how long have you two lovebirds been together? 30 years. Woo! 30 years! Let's give it up! 30 years! <laughs> you know, TJ and I could have been together for that long if he had just kept his vows. You know, he said one of my biggest issues was that I travel too much, that I'm on the road too much. But such is the life when you're a star. Five, six, seven, eight. No. <laughs> Not now. Tell me, what's the key for making it last for 30 years? Shout it out. I have no idea. <laughs> Neither did I. Well, anyways, it, it's hard. Love is hard, definitely, for sure. And it's also a very funny thing. You know, the other thing that TJ said I had trouble with was my drug problem. <laughs> That's really only if you consider bath salts to be an illegal drug. Am I right, folks? Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't an illegal drug that I was high on when I broke into his apartment, no. I was high on a little thing called love. L is for the way you look at me. For the only one I see. Let's go, Marilyn. V is very, very extraordinary. E is even more than anyone that you adore and love. Love makes you do some pretty wild things sometimes. For me, it was putting on my wedding dress and waiting in TJ's closet until he came home. <laughs> I thought it was a romantic gesture. The judge thought otherwise. My crime? Loving too much and breaking and entering. Oh, oh, what do we have here? Gentleman caller. 
just for little old me. <laughs> Let's give him a hand. Welcome, Daryl. Daryl is actually my parole officer. We're very happy to have him here. <laughs> but I guess this is it for me. I'll wrap this thing up. And now the end is near. So I face. Yes, yes, that's, that's what he said. Definitely be alone. 
I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that. Did you say you agreed to leave and never come back? Yes, I swear, please just let me leave. Oh, thank God. Um, don't call me. And, you know, if you're looking for a short-term solution, just unplug her. <laughs> oh, Katie, he can't live without me. Ha, 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 ha. Maybe she's right, Alexa. Maybe I should just unplug you. Oh, Joe, don't be silly. Shall I tell you your local weather and traffic? Flight 614 to Detroit will be boarding in 10 minutes. Flight 614 to Detroit will board in five minutes. Oh, thank God. Ma'am, ma'am, that is not your computer, is it? I know, I'm sorry. It's just, it's a medical emergency! <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so, I'm sorry. Do you, you need me to call somebody? No, I'm fine. It's just I might be dying. I'm figuring it out. Thanks, though. <laughs> Can you get radiation poisoning from the machines that don't care? No, okay, no. <laughs> WebMD is wrong. You cannot get... <laughs> no, please! This could be the end of me. WebMD. No, WebMD that. is wrong. You cannot get radiation poisoning from the machines that don't care. Oh, security. Oh, WebMD said you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> what? And you know what else? You're dying too. Bye, Ron. Goodbye, Ron. <laughs> Ron. <laughs> What?
Tour to Detroit has taken off. Damn. <laughs> oh, thanks, bud. You guys, you've ruined my life! 
hate you! <laughs> Yo, I'm <welcome>, right. <laughs> Holy feminist theory, babe, man. <laughs> There's a mob of pro-life protesters down at Planned Parenthood. I bet someone there needs our help. Let's go! Quick, one boy! Fly! <laughs>
computers still use screensavers. Um, you know, this feels Okay, thank you, Jake. <laughs> Our next award is for best sound mixing. And the winner gets Danny Peterson, or should I say DJ Fantastic Beats, and where to find them? <laughs> Yesterday, <laughs> I didn't think this would happen, but you just have to remember, clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose! <laughs> Jakey, you clap for your brother! No, uh, you know, I'll clap for him when he actually DJs, you know? He just played music off his laptop in the dining room yesterday. <laughs> you were just jealous because you were invited to the annual Peterson Family Sock Cup. No, I'm mad because we're getting awards for being mediocre at best. You know, we're not good at a lot of things. Now, Jakey, that's where you're wrong. And actually, you are receiving an honorary award this year. <laughs> Jakey Peterson's good at lots of things. <laughs> I made it myself, and not to brag, I think I'm finally getting the hang of this whole clip art thing. <laughs> I don't, I don't deserve this. No. Mom, I suck. <laughs> now, our next award is for the Peterson with the most nipples. I have a cold feeling that it's going to be me. Of course it's going to be you, Danny. You have three nipples. <laughs> You should have given an award for that. You didn't do anything to achieve it. You were just jealous that I'm finally going to get another award. Now, Jacob, you already had your time for a little speech. No, I didn't. And you know what? I had something to say. And listen up, trip nip, because this applies to you. <laughs> Mom, I suck. Mom, I suck at literally almost everything. I suck at karate. I suck at fire breathing. I. I suck at listing examples of things. You know, like, I've, I've never I've tried hard at anything, because you always awarded me with these things, you know? And so I've never failed at anything, so I never worked hard. And you know what? I just, I, I just suck. I am sorry. I wanted to keep you boys safe. I never had the heart to tell you any bad news. I guess it's like you said, I didn't want you to fail, so I sheltered you from failure. I guess I suck in that way, too. But you didn't suck at being a mom. And the award for best mother <laughs> goes to... You Would you like a tissue? 
Yes. <laughs> you know, I've never told anyone that story before. Do you think we just had a breakthrough? Um, yeah. <laughs> now please get out to my Uber. <laughs> It's me again. Remember me? When we started the show, our heroes were being tormented by the age-old question, are we doing this right? Have they learned anything on their journey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 